Hello, I'm Nathan Martin with the Divine Pollination Hive, divinepollination.com, and theunityprocess.com. And today I'm going to discuss the Mandela Effect and the axiom, whatever is observed changes. Whatever is observed changes. So if this is something that interests you, stay tuned. There's an axiom, whatever we observe, whatever is observed, changes. What exactly does that mean? What exactly are we observing? What is an observer? Who is observing? And what is it that we are observing? From a consciousness perspective, you have different forms of consciousness and different people uh, with different alignments of consciousness will observe different things. They will have a different manner of observation. Another way of saying ob observation is witnessing. Something is witnessed. And in fact, this reminds me of the two witnesses in the book of Revelation, where they go around observing or witnessing. Uh, a lot of people think that they're out there preaching, but actually what they're doing is they're observing. They're out observing, and what you observe changes. So this is important to, to understand that when I observe something, it's going to be different than when a dark consciousness observes something or an occultist observes something or a light consciousness observes something. Being a neutral myself, I'm neither light nor dark because I've integrated both within me. At least I've integrated the best that I can within me. When I observe something, I'm observing it in order to integrate, in order to neutralize. Uh, some people are observing to make it light. Some people are observing to make it dark. And some people are just fully externalized in their observing. Now, it, being internalized or externalized, you can make changes. Uh, if I go in and I do what's called shadow work, where I try to make the unconscious conscious within my own self, I am trying to find my, my patterns and I'm observing my thinking. I'm turning my thinking inwards. I'm observing it. So I go within to make changes. As I go and I observe my thoughts and I, I try to understand why they're there, I look at what my thoughts are, I try to understand why my thoughts are as they are, why my feelings are as they are, and why my behaviors are as they are. As I observe these things, I change. My, my ability to act, to, to think, to feel, to act all changes. Now, if I were to have a quantum computer, let's you know, look at the Mandela effect and I have a quantum computer, and I'm going back in time, and I'm observing something in history, what I observe is now going to change, because it's, it's through our observation that things change. I don't have to actually time travel. I don't have to step on a butterfly. I, all I have to do is witness an event, witness an experience, witness it, to see it, to observe it, and history is now going to change, as long as I'm observing at the right level. If I'm a, a consciousness, a conscious being making an observation, uh, and the more consciousness, uh, the more conscious the being is, probably the more profound the change is going to be. If you are going to be a scientist and you're studying history from a, a quantum level and watching events in history unfold, you're going to actually shift history towards your level of consciousness. If you're a dark consciousness, light consciousness, neutral, etc. Uh, a neutral consciousness, though, does not look at the past to make changes because that's outside in. That's externalized. That's, that's looking at an external thing to change it. It's not going within to change something. It's going externally to change something. So now we have internalized change and externalized change, internalized observation and externalized observation. So if I'm externally observing through a quantum computer using technology, I can artificially make changes. But if I'm going inside to make changes, that is a different kind of change. That's like Gandhi saying, be the change you wish to see in the world. You're going within. You're making changes internally as opposed to externally. So CERN really doesn't need to be doing a whole lot of anything except for observing history to actually be making these changes. While we can also affect change in the world, but we don't do it by using a quantum computer, we instead go inside. I'm Nathan Martin with the Divine Pollination Hive. Be sovereign. Be safe. Be well. Thank you.